how to use gallery blocks. All right, for gallery blocks, there's two different ways that you can set this up. You can either click add a section and then scroll down to where it says gallery and choose whichever one you want. This is an okay version, but it's not gonna give you as much flexibility as the second way. The second way is to click the plus I insert icon and then click the gallery block. Now, right away, you're gonna see that it's gonna give you some filler text. You have a few different options. You can uh, click this plus button and select any of the photos that you have on your desktop. You can search for images, the free images or ones that you've used in the past, and you can even add video. And I'll show you how to use this in a little bit. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to upload some photos. I'm just gonna highlight all my photos. I'm gonna drag and drop them over here. Awesome. Now, when your photos upload, what you're gonna notice is that whatever is at the top left is going to display first, whatever is at the bottom right is gonna display last. You can take your photos and you can rearrange them by dragging and dropping them here. You can also edit each of these photos. You can add a link to them so that if somebody clicks them, it takes them to a certain place um, or to a different page, right? Uh, this is really good. Gallery blocks are really good if you're trying to display images that aren't necessarily connected to your blog post or to your store. So if you want to link to another page, if you just want to display logos like I'm going to do here, or if you have something else other than a blog or a product, then the gallery block is going to be a really good idea. All right, let's talk about the different designs that you can use for a gallery block. So to edit a gallery block, click the gallery block and then click the pencil icon. Then you're gonna go to design. Now the first design, as you'll see, is slideshow. And slideshow has these um, arrows on the left and right so that people can toggle and it also displays what's gonna come up next at the bottom. You can change how fast uh, these slides change or if they uh, change at all, right? Uh, you can turn that off to where it doesn't automatically show within slides. You can take off the previous and the next controls. Um, you can take off where it says the thumbnails. So it's only gonna do one image at a time. And you can also change, if you have a title or description with each of these images, then you can choose whether or not you wanna display that. Now for carousel, it's similar to slideshow, except nothing is going to be at the bottom. So it's kind of the same thing. Uh, grid is going to display all of these items almost like a blog post. You can change the aspect ratio if you want. Um, and you can also change um, a lot of the stuff like the padding. So if you want more space in between, how many you want per row. Notice as I use less of these different pictures per row that the pictures get bigger. Right, so that's just something to keep in mind when you're trying to think about how you're spacing out your blocks. Um, and then last is stacked, and this is just where it's gonna display one picture over the other all the way down. So what I wanna do is I wanna take all of these crazy looking logos, but I want to display them as a featured in section on the website. So for this, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click this format option. I'm gonna make the width long, so it's gonna go uh, or width wide, large, so it's gonna go side to side. Then I'm gonna click into this summary block, I'm sorry, gallery block. I'm gonna click design, I'm gonna click grid, but I need to get the right ratio. So I'm gonna do this wide ratio because I have all of these pictures, right? Now I want all of these displayed on one row, so I'm gonna choose five per row. Good. And now I've got them all kind of going next to each other. See how this looks. Not bad, right? So if I wanted to, I could add a little bit of distance in between them. So if I click design, if I wanted a little bit more spacing, I could do it that way, make them a little bit smaller, right? I'm gonna take out this text block. Nice, then I'm gonna click this background and go to colors. I'm gonna see if I like the way that this looks. Okay, if I had a yellow, I'd probably use a yellow right here so that it all looks like it's one big old image. And the thing that's also important to remember is that when I take this and I truncate it and I do it for mobile, it's gonna display left to right, similar to how it looks when I'm looking at it in the uh, 
in the actual design gallery block, right? So however it's looking right here, it's probably gonna look pretty similar on mobile. Now, maybe I want to show people where I am featured in NBC or Daily Herald or Google News. So if I want to link any of these things, then I'm gonna click this gear icon and you're gonna see that you can add a click-through URL, right? From here, you can either do it from your own content to feature it, you can use files, right? So uh, you can click it so that it'll show an external file or we can add a URL so it's gonna take them to that URL to that NBC Daily Herald article that features this where, where I am featured, right? Now you may see this use existing gallery tool. This seems like you would be able to upload your own stuff and then be able to click these gallery sections later on in other pages. Unfortunately, that's just not working yet. <laughs> so uh, that's not something that's currently available, but when it is, I'll make a video on it. So don't waste your time with this used existing gallery block. Uh, but I did say I talked to you about video. So let's talk about video. Here I am on my own website on the free Squarespace web design tutorials page. So it's on my videos page, right? And so what you see is I've got all of these videos here and this is actually actually a gallery block. So if I click into this and I click edit, you're gonna be able to see all of these different options that I put in here for this gallery block. Now, um, how did I do that? Well, first I clicked the plus icon and then where it says add video, I clicked add video. Every time I did that, it gave me these options. You can upload the URL, you can use the custom thumbnail, which means that the first thing, it's not gonna try and load that video, it's gonna be faster, it's a good idea. And it's automatically also going to pull the um, title of your video. You can add some text here too, but really for what I'm looking for is just have the videos display. So I did that right here. Now, obviously, I could take this and I could design it a whole bunch of different ways. I could do it as a carousel, it doesn't look great. I could use it as a, uh, I could use it as a slideshow, any of those things, but I chose to use it as a grid. I feel like it kind of displays a little bit more of the options, makes it easier to scan through. But that's how you use video for a gallery block. Remember, this is just part of our four course series. You can find the full courses all linked up in the description box below. Let's put the art back into content marketing. I'll see you on the next video.